The Glory of God by uh, Thomas Newberry. God created man for his own glory and fitted him for communication with him. This is intimated by the visit, uh, his visit, our first parents in the cool of the day. He doubtlessly taught them to howl the beginning and the end of each day with worship. When man fell, his heart became alienated from God and the link formed between God and his creation, his creature, was subsided. Consequently, though after man had sinned, God walked as usual in the garden in the cool of the day. He missed the one who should have looked out for his presence. Therefore he called unto Adam, and he said to him, Where art thou? Instead of casting man off, God in his uh, condensation kindness proceeded to renew the communion that had been broken and to establish it on the firm basis. A very clear intimation of the, this uh, gracious purpose is given in his own words through Moses to Israel. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them, Exodus 25, 8. <clears throat> and after the tabernacle was made according to the given pattern and the sacrifices had been offered and accepted, the cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of Jehovah filled the tabernacle. God fulfilled his promise. They will meet with the children of Israel. Some centuries later, when Israel dwelt in the land, Solomon built a temple for God. Here again, the sacrifice was offered and accepted. They, their acceptance being shown by the fire descending and consuming them. And then, as the trumpet, the singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praise and thanking and thinking God, uh, thinking Jehovah, the house was filled with the clouds and the glory of Jehovah, and they filled the house of God. Second Chronicles five thirteen and fourteen. So also on the day of Pentecost, the all atoning sacrifice had been offered on Calvary, and it accepted, shown acceptance showed by the resurrection of Christ from the dead. Living stones were being built together for an inhabitation of God through the Spirit. For the disciples were assembled according to the commands of the Lord Jesus. And then the Spirit descended, and the house was shaken, and filled with the glory of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Thus also will be in the millennium, when the mountains of Jehovah, the house, shall be established in the top of the mountain, and shall be exalted above the hills, and the temple, as described in Ezekiel, shall be erected where, when all the, this is complete, God will take possession. And it is this that is described in the chapter before us. And behold, the glory of God of Israel came from the way of the east, and his voice was like the noise of many waters, and the earth shined with his glory, Ezekiel 43, 2. The glory compounded with the description in Ezekiel 1 and 2. The prophet had seen it departed from the temple, chapters 10 and 11. Now he sees it return. 
the tabernacle, uh, there was the Ark of Shittim wood, one table of showbread, and one lampstand in Solomon's temple. The Ark was placed under the wings of a large cherubim, and there were ten lampstands and ten tables. In the description of Ezekiel temple, no mention is made of any vessels except the altar of wood, which is called the table that is before Jehovah. The ark will not be mentioned in that day, and there will no longer be any need for the lamps to shine, for the noontide light of the divine presence will make all other lights unnecessary while it will set aside all shadows and take the place of every type. So also will it be when the spiritual and the heavenly temple shall be complete, that temple which comprises all the redeemed being uh, composed of living stones, souls redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, when they are clothed in bodies of resurrection, incorruptible, partaking of divine glory, conforming to the image of the glorified Redeemer, and re, uh, pleasant with every grace and perfection of the eternal spirit. There will be no need of any lamps, for the sun shall shine in the temple, for the glory of God will lighten it, and the lamp will be the light thereof. Revelation twenty-one, twenty-three.